What's good, y'all? No Mercy Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. Y'all already know what it is. Um, want to give a recap of something I just happened to catch on Instagram um, earlier tonight. You feel what I'm saying? Or earlier this morning, whatever. Um, Swiss Beats and Just Blaze. They did something interesting and something a little innovative on the gram. You know what I mean? They, um, I don't know who crib they was in, but, um, I think it was Swiss crib. No, it might have been Just Crib. Um, they set up the machines and everything, and these niggas had a full out, like an all out beat battle. You understand? Like, they was playing hits, they was playing exclusive shit, like, they was playing all sorts of shit, and the shit was, like, crazy, like, just the whole environment, like, it's a small room setting, you know, only close friends and family there, um, as far as the Instagram live, everybody was tuned in, like, I was seeing people, like, I seen Tahiri, I seen T.I., Meek, I seen Murder Mook, I seen Timberland. Um, it was so many people from just the hip hop community that was tuned in. Um, I think the most viewers they had might have been like fifteen thousand, but that's still a lot of motherfucking people who watch. Uh, um, you know, a beat battle and shit like that. And um, it was just dope for hip hop overall. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I ain't gonna lie, man. That boy just got smoked. <laughs> you understand? Like he got smoked bad. You feel me? Um. It was like Swiss was just back to back with knockers. You understand what I'm saying? Like Swiss would have um swing your rag. He had um, you know, a bunch of old DMX joints. He even like niggas thought Just Blaze was down and out already. The nigga pump fakes touch it and goes into New York shit by Buster. Like had he played touch it at that time, it'd have been like yo throwing the tower already. You feel what I'm saying? Um just of course had hits like um matter of fact when uh when swiss played swing your rag it was because just had played um damn it was one of the um was it i think it was the king intro um off ti album you feel what i'm saying um just had played a couple of his bangers like he played um oh boy you understand he played a few dip set joints and um what was interesting at least to me, like, the most interesting part was probably the closer. Because, um, for both of their closers, like, first of all, um, even during the main battle, they would go back and forth on beats. Like, um, Swiss would play one beat, and then just to do, like, his own, you know, mix to the joint, um, they would go back and forth on albums. Like, Swiss would play a joint he did on this album. And then just to play a joint that he did on that same album, like a T.I. or a whole joint. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, damn, what did Swiss do? Swiss did, uh, my drink and my two-step. Like, it was just hit after hit being played. You understand? And, um, the closer, like I said, which is the most interesting part to me, was, um, all right. Just, like I said, Just Blaze was already getting smoked through damn near the whole thing. Um, just play PSA for his closer. You understand? And everybody was like, all right, just fighting back. You feel me? Everybody thinks Swiss is going to go into a big joint that everybody knows, like Rough Riders Anthem, you know, something on that level. That nigga goes into an unreleased joint with Nas, Jay-Z, Jadakiss, and DMX. Like a joint nobody ever heard. Like that shit had to be. I seen some people saying like he played it before. Um, It was probably from like 2012, but... The shit sounds like a completed track right now. Like, I hope that shit get released sooner or later. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, at the end of it, you know, they were showing each other mad love, mad respect. And, um, they were just saying how they kept all of the media outlets out of it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they planned it. They was getting calls from media outlets to do it on, you know, different platforms and shit. And they were just like, yo, they want to just do it live on Instagram to give it right to the people. Like... You don't got to log in to nothing and do all this extra shit to see it. You don't got to pay for nothing. Well, you got to log in Instagram, of course. But once you do that, like, you can automatically watch it for free. You feel what I'm saying? And then it's live. Um, you know people were sitting at their computers probably recording it and shit like that. So y'all could probably go on YouTube and type in Just Blaze versus Swiss Beats Battle and the shit going to come up. 
You understand what I'm saying? But um, that shit was just legendary for hip hop, man. Like, if you grew up in the era I grew up in where they producing for people like fucking Nas, DMX, Hov, Dipset, like T.I., like these are niggas I came up listening to. So to just see something like that and, you know, seeing their catalogs played and shit like that, like, it really reminds you of all the work both of these guys have put in throughout the years. And those guys are, like, certified legends and icons in this hip-hop shit. You feel what I'm saying? So um, that was just my recap of that, man. At the end, they was talking about possibly doing more. Like, you know, you got other dope producers. Like, I want to see fucking um, A-Rap Music versus Cardiac, like, they both do beats kind of in, like, the same lane. So I, I want to see them do something. You understand? But they was talking about getting, like, Pharrell versus Timberland and, you know, other shit like that. So I'm hoping this shit continues. They do more of these. And, shit, if they do them, I'm going to be tuned in. And y'all going to be getting more recaps from me. You feel what I'm saying? But, like I said, go on the tube. Go check out a couple clips and shit like that. Let me know what y'all think about it and all that. And I'll see y'all on the flip side, man. No mercy. Trap shit. NoMercyTV.com.